atoms. Everything we see, feel, or smell is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are the basic building blocks for all matter. They are the smallest part of a substance and cannot be broken down chemically. Basically, anything that takes up space is made of atoms. Let's take a closer look at the structure of an atom. Atoms have three parts, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons form an atom's nucleus, which is located in the center of the atom. Protons have a positive electrical charge, while neutrons have no charge. The nucleus is extremely dense, and most of an atom's mass is located in the nucleus. The negative charge comes from electrons that spin around the nucleus in orbital paths called shells. In an ordinary atom, the protons, positive charge, will equal the amount of electrons, negative charge, keeping the atom in balance. The atom is the basic particle of all the chemical elements found on the periodic table. Some elements are made from a single atom, like helium, neon, and argon, while others have more, like hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. The first step to identifying an element is determining how many protons are found in the nucleus of an atom of that element. This is called an atomic number. For example, hydrogen has an atomic number of one because every hydrogen atom has one proton in its nucleus. No other elements have only one proton. In other words, each element has a unique atomic number as you can see on the periodic table. Let's look at a few examples. Helium has an atomic number of two, therefore it has two protons. Iron has 26 protons, so its atomic number is 26. Copper's atomic number is 29. So how many protons does it have? That's right, 29. Elements are also defined by mass. This is done in two ways, by atomic mass and atomic weight. Atomic mass is the number of protons and neutrons in the atom's nucleus. For example, a carbon atom has six protons and six neutrons in its nucleus. This means carbon has a mass number of 12. An element's atomic weight is the number found on the periodic table and is determined by averaging the weight of all of the different versions or isotopes of a particular element. One important thing to remember is that when elements combine with each other, they form different substances called molecules. Like when one oxygen atom bonds with two hydrogen atoms to form the molecule H2O, or water. To sum things up, atoms are the basic building block for all matter in the universe. Atoms have protons, electrons, neutrons, and a nucleus. Elements are chemical substances made from one type of atom. And when different elements bond with each other, they form molecules. Thanks for learning with us. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.